Hey guys, welcome back to another basic tutorial here. I'm Crazy Sugoi, and thank you guys for sticking around. And today we're going to be looking at um, earning Starbucks. That's the topic for today. We're going to be looking at how you can earn money, especially if you are a free-to-play player, right? Now you guys can notice that um, I've got 3260 Starbucks here, and I'm playing today on Saturday. So, and the reason I mentioned that is because Savvy does this thing that's referred to as Saturday Market, where they'll put some ideal items into the shop at a uh, lower price, sometimes a weirder price than you can see that's in the marketplace. Let me go ahead and click this little green dropship and you'll notice that there are four items here today for Saturday Market, which is a Horn Skullmit, 0.5 attack. Epic Combat Helmet, 0.6. We've got Dark Matter, 1.1K bucks. And we've got the Stormlands for 2K bucks, which is plus eight science. Now, looking at these four items, what we can do is we can purchase these at lower prices in the dropship and sell them for an increased price in the marketplace. So to get access to your marketplace, you're gonna wanna go to the top right, press this uh, little message looking icon Go over to your market tab and here you can see your marketplace and every item that is on sale now you see a horn skullmit there for 150 bucks if i were to go over to my search and i go ahead and type in h-o-r-n let's just click it right there horn skullmit you'll notice that they're selling for an average of 150 starbucks so if you start off with 100 and you purchase that horn skullmit in the dropship and you sell it for 150 bucks in the marketplace with the 20% tax off, you're gonna be losing um, 30 bucks approximately. So that's a 20 bucks profit that you'll make on this horned skullmit, right? So essentially what I'm gonna show you guys or what I will be showing you is the buy low and sell high tactic of making Starbucks, right? Next item is the Epic Combat Helmet. Now I think the 380 is a little overpriced in the first place, so I'm not sure if anyone will be trying to resell this one. Okay, so you see here 300 bucks. People are selling um, this Epic Combat Helmet for 300 bucks, and that isn't even being sold. That's been posted for five hours, and it wasn't even sold. So you can see here that this one, it's only a good buy if, um, or it's rather not a good buy this time around, right? So let's move on to Dark Matter, which is 1.1. Now Dark Matter is one of the high level crafting items that um, the um, wealthy players <laughs> use. So you go ahead here, you see Dark Matter is selling for 1.2, 1.4, and 1.5. With probably, uh, see this person is sneakily selling that for 1.199 or 11.99. But the reason they do that and don't bring it up to the 1200 is because they don't want it to show in the marketplace as 12, 1.2 K, right? Now, so the dark matter isn't that ideal this time around, but this item, the Stormlands for 2K bucks, what's so special about that is that it, um, it comes with a random statistic, which means that It'll either give you stamina, repair, weapon, HP, ability, pilot, uh, engine, fire resistance, and so on and so forth. And depending on the stat that you get with your Stormlands, your price that you can sell it for will either go up or down. Obviously, if you're going to get pilot, engine, and um, things of that nature, like pilot, engine, uh, let me, I'm trying to find here. Um, Stamina, that's a pretty good one. But uh, pilot and engine are bad stats to have on a weapon like that, so that's going to decrease your price. But in cases where you get HP, that increases your price. You can see he's selling that for 3.5k. So if you want to take a gamble on that, you can spend 2k on that Stormlands and possibly come out selling it at 3.5, or you could lose and end up selling your item at 900 bucks like this person right here Volko Volkovalex who's selling that Stormlands with a 2.9 engine for 900 bucks which still hasn't been purchased so it's a pretty big gamble depending on what you guys want to do I don't like to gamble on the random 
stat items. I like to purchase things that are sure. Now, another way that you can earn bucks as a free player in this game is I was really hoping to see one come by. There is typically a little nice <laughs> right on time. So you see this little ad blimp here? Um, now forgive me, I'm gonna actually click the ad because I want you guys to see what happens. I've got 3260 bucks there. I'm gonna click this ad and let it run. I'll be quiet for a second, right? All right, I turned the sound off on the ad, but essentially um, what this does, it's gonna show you an advertisement and it's gonna give you three bucks when this ad runs out. Um, there's a bug that I'm not sure if they're aware of. Sometimes when the um, ad runs out, it doesn't give you the bucks. And that can be pretty um, upsetting, but I'm just gonna let it sit for a second because I really hope it actually does give it to me. And then you click that little X in the top right, and there you go, you've received three Starbucks from watching an ad. Now these ad blimps, they spawn in very frequently, so you can watch them back to back, and you see I don't automatically get that. I've gotta go to my inbox in the top right, click inbox, and you'll see there, um, you've received three Starbucks from watching in an ad. I press that, I collect it, and now I've got 3263. Now another method of gaining bucks, premium currency in this game, is the floating Starbucks. You can see this right here, floating across my screen. And if you notice in the bottom right, there's already another ad blimp that I can watch. So if you binge those ad, ad um, blimps, you can make like 300 bucks um, just watching ads. Now you notice I have 32.63, I'm gonna tap this floating ad, and now I've got 32.64, that is one other method. Now here's another, once you're in a fleet, right, the fleet council room, once you've joined a fleet, and my fleet is Hydra for those of you that were interested, go ahead and I'm gonna drop a Discord link in the, um, there's a Discord link on the screen and I'm also gonna put it in the description below. If you go ahead and tap on the top right of your screen and you visit your star base, just like so, and give it a second to load in there, there is a room on your star base that is known as the print room. Right here at the bottom is where ours is. And I've already collected mine today, but a lot of people don't know that there will actually be bucks inside this print room that you can collect on a daily basis. You can get four bucks and it'll be in there floating. You just tap on it and you'll collect it and your bucks amount will increase, right? Now moving on from, why is my ship blue? Wasn't my ship black a second ago? Okay, epic. <laughs> okay, savvy. <laughs> um, let's just ignore that. You guys can see the bugs in this game. But anyway, um, another method of making bucks in this game, for those of you that are unfamiliar, there is a crew known as the Dolores crew. Now, she is, you should have a head in your inventory, but for those of you that are familiar you'll know that you have to assemble this crew using the synth parts that's s y n t h and you'll notice there's a body you'll need two arms and you'll need two legs now these can be purchased in the store for bucks which is not what we're trying to do we're trying to earn bucks so how do these people get it in the first place now there are a few missions um, that you guys should be doing every single day. Make sure you're doing all of your missions because there is a chance that you can gain or win these little uh, Dolores parts in these missions. I'm not, f I don't remember all of them right now, but specifically, um, Orbital Graveyard, I know is a mission that you can, um, you can win the body of the Dolores for, and as you saw, that sells for 900. Other times there'll be a random pop-up, which is a horse race, and it's very random which horse wins the race. I can't prompt it to show up, but I always just click on um, Balzy, which is B-A-L-L-S-Y. That's the horse that typically um, wins whenever I win it if you guys notice that. So um, that'll pop up on your screen, that's a prompt sometimes. Another way that you can earn bucks is there's also another random prompt of a cat that brings you to a random game show 
that you just have to guess the items and it'll give you some bucks at the end of that. Really that's just a way to make sure that there aren't any um, bots playing the game. It's like a captcha, but um, it also helps players in um, earning some bucks. Now another way you can make bucks is if you've got some minerals, you can um, purchase items off of the store such as um, scrap is a good one. You gain those from missions or you can purchase them. I'll bring up my menu here. I'll bring up the category tab and I'm going to go down to resources and I'm going to post a small mineral crate for one bucks. And that's added to the marketplace. Now you'll notice that that is listed in there and that may not seem like a lot, but there are times when I end up with like 50 of these small crates just from farming and fighting a lot. And I don't use them and I don't need them, I don't donate them or anything. So I just sell them for a bucks and um, if I've got a buyer, hopefully someone buys that just so it pops up on the screen. But you'll notice here that I um, sold some earlier. So that's one additional bucks and I've got a few crates in my inventory. There we go, sold to Colt Shadowmire. One additional buck, just like that. That's the cheapest way of making bucks right there. The medium crates you can sell these for maybe um three to five three to five um bucks see i just posted that medium mineral crate there for three bucks and um just like that you just keep selling buying low and selling high there are items that have um there it is cold shadow Meyer. he bought the medium crate as well and you can just sell whatever you have in your inventory. I know a lot of people have these little Ology orbs. Um, you'll notice they've been selling maybe 60, 100, 100. You can get them pretty cheap at times. I can post one up for, um, I'm gonna post one for uh, 140 here. It's not gonna sell right now. Maybe even 135. Uh, 130. <laughs> It's not going to sell right now for sure, but I, I'm just undercutting that other guy's price, which is a pretty bad thing to do. But hey, um, this is the marketplace. So a guy had one posted for 180, 17 hours now, and it hasn't sold. So I posted one for 130, so people have new options. Now if that sells, I make a little profit on that, right? Um, items like this, Toast Cat, which was in the Saturday market the other uh, day for around uh, one6 K, uh, 1400 bucks rather you can sell this back for you can see it's sold for um, 1.5 and 1.4 there and people are selling it for 2.3 K 1.9 and 1.6 right so essentially how to make money in this game is buy low sell high and do your missions on a daily and every other thing that I have shown you guys in this video today um and I want to go out on the topic of scratchies, which is not a free-to-play thing, but I would just want to end on this topic. Now, everyone's aware that there is a subscription to um, Pixel Starships that you can have, which is just a $3.99 subscription. I promise I'm not sponsored, guys. <laughs> but $3.99 uh, subscription that you get, which allows you to um you're gonna be getting a scratchy what's known as a scratchy every single day for six accounts meaning that this is my main account i've got a few other alts that i use alt accounts now all of these alt accounts get one scratchy per day and the scratchy's market value is approximately 40 bucks right they keep dropping the prices i'm going insane with how they keep dropping the prices initially these sold for 45 bucks now it's barely holding at 40 but anyway people keep selling them at 37 it's insanity um so these scratchies they sell for approximately 40 bucks so if i go ahead and i post a scratchy just like this for 40 bucks which i get for free quote unquote free every day because i'm subscribed to the game now i make a lot of bucks just like that right and if i were to for the for the month which is 30 days i'm gonna have 30 of these scratchies and across all my alts times six 
I'll let you guys do the math on that one. But um, let's just say I have a minimum of um, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 150 scratchies that I can sell at 40 bucks a pop, right? That I haven't paid for, quote unquote paid for, because I bought the subscription, which is only 3.99. But I mean, how can you not, right? It's better than buying these little bucks things. You make a lot more, that's for sure. And you just sell those scratchies and they'll make you a significant profit just like that. Right, guys? So um, that's actually the end of this um, this this one today is how to earn premium currency or to, how to earn bucks in pixel starships and I will see, if you guys want me to do a part two then you guys can let me know in the comment section below alright guys that's all I've got for you today thanks for sticking around I will see you in the next one take it easy guys